Hello, this is Ando, and welcome to my minimalist kitchen. In this video, I'll be pairing two of my favorite appliances to my EcoFlow Delta. This is my EcoFlow Delta power station. I'll be pairing it with my Food Saver vacuum sealer. And then a little bit later, we'll be plugging in and using the sous vide wand for sous vide cooking. Now, normally, if you're going on a camping trip, you would use this at home, not with your power station. You'd get a few steaks uh, sealed and um, seasoned and get those in the freezer. And then during your camping trip, they can begin to thaw. And then the sous vide wand would cook them even if they are frozen. So it's okay if they stay that way. So we're going to go ahead, though, for this video, and we're going to actually do all of the work from the power station. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I have plugged in my food saver vacuum sealer to the Eco Delta and turned it on. I went ahead and cut and created uh, my first bag. I did double seal it because I want to make sure this thing stays sealed, stays sealed while it's in the sous vide pot. And I noticed on the EcoFlow that I was only burning about 100 watts to run the sealing feature, which only took about 10 seconds. At the PCC, I bought this beautiful ribeye. This is not just grass finished, this actually is entirely grass fed. So it's a really nice cut of meat. And what I'll do is season it. And for me, it's a simple chimichurri that I picked up at Whole Foods. One of the easiest ways to flavor your steak is just put a very small amount of Worcestershire in the bag. If you put in a lot of liquid, the machine will just pull it all right back out. So just a very, very little. But this is just a dry seasoning. So I just go ahead, put that in. It's going to get noisy here for a moment. We'll put that in the food sealer. There's some pepper in there. Block it and pardon the noise. So all the air has been pulled and the machine is now sealing the plastic bag. And when the seal cycle is done, I'm actually going to put in a second seal just to be on the safe side. And I wasn't paying attention to see how many watts the food sealer was pulling out of the power station. Okay. So now, if you're going on a camping trip, this is ready to throw into your freezer to pre-freeze. And then when you head out, you'll put this in your cooler with your ice or whatever. And the steak itself will help keep the other things in the cooler cold. And then it will be ready to go into the sous vide uh, once you're ready for your camping dinner. And we'll be doing that in about four or five hours from now. It's still way too early for dinner. But I'll let this sit in the fridge since I'm going to go ahead and just make this today. Uh, and give it, uh, give the steak a chance to take in those flavors from the seasoning I added. Well, I'll be back in just a few hours. Hello, this is Andover, and we're back. And now we're to the portion of the video where we'll begin cooking the steak sous vide style. Now I've taken, actually this is the insert from my Instant Pot Mini and placed it on the stovetop. Now it's misleading because the stovetop is not on. I'm not using the stovetop. I just like to have this uh, location to catch some of the splashing and also use my vent hood if I need to uh, to bring some steam out, but there really is not much steam from this style of cooking. Now I've started the sous vide wand so that I can preheat the water. And when I used that food saver, I still had 100% of my battery left. So that used a tiny little portion, or basically hardly anything at all. And I have started the sous vide wand, and it drew quite a bit of power to get started. It was drawing about 1,000 watts out of the power station to begin heating the water. Now the water is almost at temperature. In fact, it just told me now that it is at temperature. And so we're going to go ahead and start the timer. So being at temperature means that the sous vide has reached 56 degrees C. 
that's the temperature that I'd like the steak to be at. So let me put the steak in here. I'm going to grab a clip. It'll just help keep the steak underwater. Stay down. So now that I have the water heated to 55 degrees, which is about 130 degrees Fahrenheit, it's drawing very little power. In fact, we're down to only 70 watts. It's going to fluctuate a little as it needs to heat uh, the water from time to time, but um, the water is hot and now it's just a matter of maintaining that temperature. So um, we did hop up there to 138 watts for a moment. So 138 watts for a heating appliance is really not bad. Now the whole fundamental idea behind sous vide cooking is that we use very low temperature water bath in order to cook the food. The steak, I'd like it to be a medium rare for me. Um, I will be finishing it off with a sear, so that sear will cook it a little more. Um, so you could do your steak at a medium or medium rare um, and then add that sear. If you skip the sear, which you don't, you don't have to do, uh, then you just go ahead and select the um, level of doneness that you'd like and you select the level of doneness by selecting the temperature. Uh, a steak will go anywhere from 50 degrees C all the way up to 68. So at 50 degrees C, which I've looked up on the internet as 122 Fahrenheit, that's your very rare steak. And then at about 155 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 C, that is a very well done steak. Now, the steak gets to that temperature because the machine holds a temperature and it stays at that temperature. So if I want my medium rare steak to be 132 degrees Fahrenheit, once the steak gets to that temperature through and through, that's as far as it can cook. It cannot overcook. It's not going to go any further than that. It'll always be in that medium rare state. And because it's in this plastic bag, every ounce of moisture is trapped within. So it's cooking in its own juices. It's an amazing way to make a steak. And you might have cringed earlier when I said that I was going to be freezing the steak before using it. But even with a frozen steak, when you cook it sous vide style, it still turns out amazingly tender, super moist. Uh, it's just a really great way to make a state, steak. And uh, because the power draw is so low, we're at 150 watts right now and that's it. Uh, it's a really low power way to make uh, a nice dinner. This particular steak, it's about an inch thick, it was not frozen, will take about one hour of cooking time. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and this is going to go ahead and cook for an hour and we'll be back here in just a few minutes for you. Okay, we are back in the kitchen at the end of the cooking cycle. The ribeye steak is now ready. I was just alerted that it's uh, come to temperature. Now the nice thing about sous vide cooking is if I were busy, I could actually let the machine go ahead and hold the steak for up to an hour and it would uh, not cook any further, which is great. Um, and of course it wouldn't dry out because again, all that moisture is trapped uh, in the bag with the steak. So what I'll do now is turn off the sous vide wand and uh, once that's done, it's going to sit in the water for a second. Let's take a look at the gauge on my power station. So we still have 89% of the charge left on this device. So we powered up the vacuum sealer and then we cooked this steak for an hour sous vide style and we are down only 11% of the battery. Uh, that's pretty amazing. So this is just a great low energy way to make a pretty amazing uh, dinner. So I'll go ahead and turn off the power station because we're done with that. And the steak itself really is ready to eat now, but for a little added flavor, I'm going to put a sear on it. We'll take the sous vide wand out. And um, on the stove, I'm preheating a skillet with uh, beef tallow which is a great way to sear a steak. It adds that much more flavor to an already wonderful steak. So that's come to temperature and I'm looking at about just above medium. I don't want a real super high heat when you're cooking this style. 
So here is the steak. And we'll go ahead, cut the bag, and get the steak out. And then there's all those juices that are in the bag as well. And I'm going to actually then cut this little string, uh, just so we don't have to worry about that later. Now the steak is fully cooked. I could eat it right now but I'm going to do that quick sear. Got a little bit of smoke coming off of my oil. It's a high, uh, high heat oil. A little bit of smoke, even on medium. So I'm sorry I'm gonna have to turn the overhead fan on. It's gonna be a little noisy here just for a minute. Okay, then we take our steak and it's falling apart, it's so tender and we sear the first side. And on medium heat, it's not um, too messy. But we can always put um, the grease lid on, which I don't seem to have handy. Uh, a regular lid would work as well. I guess I'm going to have to skip it uh, for right now. That's getting a really nice sear on it. This is just hot water. So you can use this for maybe doing dishes or something. I'll go ahead and put this away. I'll be letting the sous vide wand dry. It doesn't need much, but I'm going to grab a little bit of salt. Um, I use popcorn salt because it's so finely ground, you just use a little tiny bit and it gives you a lot of great salt flavor. Um, I really have to watch my salt intake. So I've got a nice steak knife and fork. I've seared the first side and it's coming apart it's so tender and now we're searing the second side and uh, it just smells really good uh, that beef tallow is the way to go I'm going to go ahead and move him out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and move the EcoFlow Delta out of the way as well. And that does smell delicious. And I've turned off the cooktop. It can go on the same plate with the juices because remember it's fully cooked. So those meat juices are not a problem. We'll set that aside. Sorry about that noise. The um, fan kicked on. So there you have this really nice um, seared steak. I'll do a little bit of seasoning, very little. And then we're going to cut in to this. So you can see really nice rare um, temperature inside. And we'll go ahead and taste that. Mmm, very good. So anyway, that's the sous vide. The vacuum sealer all hooked up to the EcoFlow Delta and a great way to make a delicious steak using very minimal power. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go and enjoy this steak.